So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Looks like we have this uh, measurement here of 9 inches. This is 12 inches. Um, let's see what it says. Carrie, a packaging engineer, is designing a container to hold 12 drinking glasses shaped as regular octagonal prisms. Okay. Her initial sketch of the top view of the base of the container is shown above, right? So this is really a three-dimensional thing. These are octagonal uh, prisms. So we can put a glass inside of each of these spaces. Question 37 says, if the length and width of the container base in the initial sketch were doubled, so we go from nine to 18, and we go from 12 to 24, how many more glasses could the new container hold? All right, so I'm gonna do this based upon area and just say that if there's one, two, three, four, eight, twelve glasses that can be held here. So twelve glasses per the area here will be twelve times nine. Twelve times nine. So twelve glasses per area of one oh eight. I'm gonna say, well, how many glasses is that per area of let's do the math here? Twenty-four times eighteen. Twenty-four times eighteen. 432. So I cross cancel or cross multiply, I should say, end up with 108x equals 432 times 12, which is 5,184. Divide both sides by 108. And I'm getting 48. So I'm getting x is equal to 48. So four times the number of glasses. So my answer here would be 48. There's no other real way for me to consider doing this question. I think this is definitely an area-based question. Um, you could, I guess, visualize it. And here, let's, let's do that. Let me just give you a better visual on what it would mean to double these parameters here. So if I made this... 18, what am I doing, right? I'm taking this entire shape and I'm putting another one, let's say that here, just to make that 18, just to get another nine here, right? So if there were, again, 12 here, I get 12 here as well. But to double this way as well, right, I'd get another box here. So I'd get another 12 here, another 12 here, and that's how we get a total of 48. So there's a whole different way to solve it completely visually, um, which hopefully also makes sense.